If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. When receiving customer payments in QuickBooks Online using the Receive Payment window, you choose into which account to deposit the funds received by using the Deposit To dropdown. Often, the amounts are deposited into an undeposited funds account. To record a deposit of funds from the undeposited funds account to a bank account, like your company's checking or savings account, click the plus new button in the navigation bar, and then click the bank deposit link under the other heading in the drop down menu to open the bank deposit window. Then select the bank account into which to deposit the funds from the account drop down in the upper left corner of the window. Enter the date of the bank deposit into the adjacent date field. To add a tag to this transaction if desired, click into the Tags field and then select a tag from the menu of Tag Choices. Repeat as needed to apply tags from any relevant tag groups you have created. Alternatively, to add a new tag, type the tag's name, select it from the Add Choice in the drop-down menu, and follow the on-screen prompts to add it to a new tag group for reporting purposes. If you have locations enabled in QuickBooks Online, you can use the Show Payments for this location drop-down to show funds received from a specific location within the Select the Payments included in this deposit section below, if needed. The default value for this drop-down is the All Locations choice. The Select the Payments included in this deposit list shows all received payments waiting for deposit. This list has the column headings received from, date, type, payment method, memo, reference number, and amount. The Received From column shows from whom the payment was received. The Date column shows the date the payment was received. The Type column shows within which transaction window the amount was entered into QuickBooks Online. The Payment Method column shows what type of payment it is. The Memo column shows any memo field information. The Reference Number column shows the payment's reference number, if applicable. The Amount column simply shows the payment amount. To select the payments to record in this bank deposit, check the checkboxes to the left of the items in the Select the Payments included in this deposit list. To mark all items for deposit, click the Select All button at the bottom of the list. To clear marked items, click the Clear All button. In the lower right corner of the list, the total line item shows the total amount of funds in the list. The selected payments total shows the total amount of marked list items. The Add Funds to this deposit list lets you add funds not recorded by other transactions in QuickBooks. For example, if a company's owner wanted to record funds given to the company along with the payments received in a single deposit, they could enter the owner's contribution here. The columns in this list are received from Account, Description, Payment Method, Reference Number, and Amount. If classes are enabled, a class column also appears. When creating a new deposit amount, first select the name of the customer, vendor, or employee who provided the funds from the Received From column. Then use the Account column to choose from which account the funds are coming. For example, if recording an owner's contribution to the company as part of your total deposit, you would select the owner's contribution's equity account here. Then enter a description for the amount into the Description column, and select the type of payment from the Payment Method drop-down. If needed, enter a reference number for the amount into the Reference Number column, and then enter the amount to deposit for the line item into the Amount field. You can also use the Add Lines and Clear All Lines buttons below this section to add more lines to the list or clear all the information from the lines in the list. Checking the Track Returns for Customers checkbox adds billable, tax, and customer columns to the list to help you track returns for customers. The other funds total for this section appears in the lower right corner of the list. To enter a note about the deposit, type it into the memo field in the lower left corner of the window. You can also use the attachments field in this area to attach a file to the deposit if desired. To keep cash back from this deposit to put into an account like Petty Cash, use the Cash Goes Back to drop-down to select the account. Then enter a reason for holding the cash back into the Cash Back Memo field. Then enter the amount to hold as cash back into the Cash Back Amount field. 
The buttons in the toolbar at the bottom of the window let you manage the entire deposit. To cancel the deposit, click the Cancel button. To save the deposit and print a deposit slip and summary, or summary only, click the Print button and then select either Print Deposit Slip and Summary or Print Deposit Summary Only as desired. Note that the deposit is not saved until you select either one of the commands. Alternatively, to close the deposit and configure your printer to properly print your deposit slips, click the Setup and Alignment command in the same menu to close the deposit and open a separate window that lets you configure the printing of the deposit slips. Back in the toolbar, clicking the Make Recurring button lets you create a recurring deposit, which is rarely needed for most companies. At the right end of the toolbar is a drop-down button with a Save and New and Save and Close command option. Either click the button to perform the current choice shown or click the drop down arrow and then select the alternate choice from the pop up menu. Selecting Save in New saves the current deposit and opens a new deposit window. Selecting Save and Close saves the deposit and closes the deposit window. After saving a bank deposit, a More button then appears in this toolbar that you can click to show a menu of choices from which you can select. In this menu, you can select Delete to delete the deposit, Transaction Journal to open a transaction journal for the deposit, or Audit History to view the audit history of the deposit. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.